Hey boys, I'm going to do a little modification to me R5000 for the AM band sensitivity and uh, it requires jumping R10, cutting R11 and add a 470 ohm resistor in series with R9. Well, all the resistors you need is on the RF board and they're right there are 9, 10 and 11 three of them so again R10 you're going to cut that one R11 or I should say R10 you're going to put a jumper wire across that one R11 you're going to cut it R9 you're going to put a 470 ohm resistor in series with it now I'm not going to be cutting or jumping the resistors on this side on this side of the board. I'm going to see if I can get this board out and do the uh, modifications on the other side on the solder side of this board. I think it'd be a lot a uh, lot better instead of cutting resistors. There's no need of it. Anyways, let's give it a whirl and uh, see what happens here. But uh, those there are the ones you need, are 9, 10, and 11. And the RF board closest to the antenna connector, which is hiding right there. So, let's, uh, let's get work, guys. So, the board has these many screws, seven screws are going to come out. One in, each, one in each corner, there's one hiding here, one over there, and two here, whatever. Anyway, there's seven screws holding that board down. And you have to remove this one jumper right here. And he plugs in right there. And of course, the resistors are over here. The board, if you very slowly turn it, you can turn the board over. Just like that. So I'm going to be doing all the uh, modifications on this side of the board. So I'm not going to be cutting anything. <laughs> so if this don't work, I can I can put this, or if I don't like the you know the results, I can uh, reverse this without any damage to the radio whatsoever. So. Um, again, we're going to uh, jump our, our, our 10 uh, pull one side of our 11 on solder one side of our 11 and add a 470 ohm resistor in series with our 9 and those resistors, again, are right there, which corresponds to right here. They're up in this corner here. So. Let's get some uh, changes made here. Okay boys, so there's how it's done. So we got R10 jumper with the red wire. Um, R11, so there's one solder uh, pad there. The lead is pulled straight out of the board, straight up. So it's not cut, but it's straight up. And the other resistor, which is R9, which is on the top, which is where am I doing? Right here, these two pins. This one, this is the one that puts a 470 ohm resistor in, in series with the resistor that's already there. So, there we have it. I'm gonna put the board in and uh, see what happens. Okay. So, there's the three resistors. R10 has jumped down below. R9 has the 470 ohm resistor in series and R11 is just one side pulled up. There we have it. Well, put the cover on now and uh, give her a try. And uh, before I did this, uh, 930 kilohertz, uh, the signal strength was very pretty, pretty low on the S meter. So now we're going to try it with this modification see if it makes it easier. Right, a little test here. This is uh, 590 kilohertz VOCM here in St. John's. And 
I can put an S4 on it. And normally I don't get a whole lot of signal on it with this radio. Uh, last time I tried tuning in this, the actual meter, the S meter reading was like needle and hardly move, and I don't know what's wrong with this camera. Uh, then we'll move her up to 640, which is CBC. And very little signal strength going on there. Very little. Then I'll move her up to 800 kilohertz, which is a VOWR here in St. John's. I'd always try to be there to watch the next record fall. But there was one record that I would especially look forward to seeing drop on that turntable because it was the one with the Christmas song that, as a young boy, I enjoyed the most. The singer was an animal story. So there's 800. And then the other one we got locally is on 940 kilohertz. Or 930 rather. And we've also got an S meter reading of about 5. And that's all with a long wire antenna out in the yard. And uh, I run the long wire antenna into this here tuner. You might recognize it. It's an old Johnson Messenger tuner. It was given to me. It wasn't working properly. And uh, I went through the schematic and managed to get it working. But, uh, yeah. So the, uh, the modification for the broadcast band modification or sensitivity for the uh, for the uh, R5000 it does work still seems to be attenuated a bit but it's not as not as bad as what it would be without the modification so I don't know if you guys are uh, if you guys got the uh, the uh, Kenwood R5000 uh, I think I would probably recommend this modification to you it's not a it's not a very difficult one to do and uh, yeah I just do it on the on the solder side of the board. That way, you don't need to cut any resistors or anything. And uh, you know, then you put everything back to stock again if you like. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the uh, the video from today or the night. It's next morning, but yeah. And uh, again, well, actually, I'm gonna wish you all a merry Christmas and happy New Year from me and Maureen. And uh, hope you have a have a great New Year. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Personally, I had a rather quiet one, as usual. Not much going on at all. But uh, yeah. So yeah. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that good stuff. And I'm sure we'll be chatting again soon, very soon. This is Rainy Sixty Three. I'm out of here. All the best, boys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.